Hi, my name is Ron Cohey. I'm a senior character artist with the Disney Creative Group. Part of my job is drawing Pixar characters, but really I'm just a big fan at heart. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw the next gen racer, Jackson Storm. So let's dive in, shall we? We're going to start with basic three-dimensional brick shape just to get us moving here. Now he is similar in some ways to Lightning McQueen. He is a next-gen racer. He's a new one, but he's very competitive, very intimidating, and that's why he's designed to be a bit more angular. So let's just get this basic shape here. Let's get these wheels in here. Just a brick and wheels. Let's keep it very simple, because he is he's tricky. He's a little complex. But remember, you can always pause this or go back and get some things down that might have gone by too fast. Once you have your brick, you can go back in there and refine some of these edges, different shapes that you'll see. Think about where this windshield and cab are gonna go. They're pretty low on him. Don't make, them too, don't make this too high. In other words, if you were to draw this through, it might be maybe in this situation that, you know, that might meet up down here. I like to use things as guides, you know, anchor points that help me with the rest of, of the uh, drawing. So certain things, you get really lucky with it, you know, or maybe it's just the way it's designed, but there's certain things that lead you to other parts, other lines. And I think that's the way it is with actual cars as well that are designed really well to begin, to begin with. They have these lines, the flow, there's a rhythm. Even angular ones like this have a rhythm. The lines lead you somewhere else. And it's very pleasing to the eye and also aerodynamic in the case of these racers and cars in general. This line meets up with this. And now this one is the, the support, the corner support the end, end of the windshield here. Now even his side window is angular. It's got this cool trick here. So it reflects kind of the overall design of the, of the car itself, greatly simplifying this car because Jackson is pretty complicated. Keep in mind, I'm keeping this right now. I'm just doing it in red, as you can see. I'm gonna go over it again in black and graphite when I'm done, just so that I can kind of knock down the red because it's, it's meant to be rough at first and then you go back over and tighten it down. You can approach this any way you want though. If you wanna start in black, that's fine. I tend to do this just because I can think out things and solve problems while it's still rough. I can go over it with a, an eraser and refine things that need some, need some finessing. So this is like my construction line here, like a center line. I do that to help me figure out where things are. And again, I can erase that later. Now his eyes are tricky. You gotta keep it straight and angular. Don't let them get as curvy as, as like lightnings would be. This little step here, like bam, a little zig, zigzag. Now, smile down here, he's got kind of a smirk. He's thinking, yeah, I know, I got this, I'm gonna win. I know I'm gonna win. I could beat all these people. That's kind of his attitude. It's a little smug, very, very confident. Think about, if you're lining things up, think about the form of this here. That way you see where things are supposed to go. And this, of course, is tricky, this little angle here where it changes. Wheels are always pretty tricky because it's just difficult sometimes to draw ellipses, circles that are skewed back in space. You know, use whatever tricks you, you can. Like I use these center lines to kind of help me always keep, because that's going to be consistent. Center lines are consistent. It's kind of like drawing like the rings of Saturn. You know, you the, the farther away side is going to be narrower, and then the closer side is going to be a little wider, but the center line stays the same. See? Let's see. He's got these pretty deep rims within there. Follow that, that parallel line, that 
through that's connecting to the ground. You can just see the other side of that wheel, but don't let it get too low or too high because it needs to be in line with that one. And while Lightning has his exhaust pipes coming out, Jackson has these little holes here. Kind of cut in there. Oh yeah, the supports for his spoiler right here. And then the other one's hidden. And there are these little, um, these little things that go up like that. Now his design on the side, the deco on his paint is sort of a tube because he is 2.0. Rub this down a little bit. I have one of these kneaded erasers, but you can use whatever you like. Okay, so now we can go back over with graphite. Tighten up some of this. I believe his rear tires extrude, come out from that wheel well. So that's why we don't see the opening there. So the look of Jackson Storm is an in-house design at Pixar. He and the Next Gen Racers were designed to look sleek, aerodynamic, and have a sharp contrast to Lightning McQueen's more rounded look. Once the look for Jackson Storm was complete, the team at Pixar used his design to create the rest of the Next Gen Racers. You can kind of get some shading in here just to make it feel more chrome, you know, metallic. And there you've got Jackson Storm. I well, hope you had fun drawing Jackson Storm. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next time. Bye.